What's going on guys? So us back in with some more Curse of the Dead Gods and no real like presentation entrance whatever. We're going into the quest of invulnerability. We've beaten this guy before already in one of the events. Oh. And so yeah, we're gonna be hopping in. I don't know which one to start off with. Maybe we'll just go weapon. Maybe we get like a little two-handed thing first. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I forgot to grab a weapon. Hold on. Um, let's go with... Sure, we'll go with the Kalon Dagger. Why not? Alright, hopefully the the board is still the same. I don't know if it's going to be. It is. Okay, so yeah, we're going to hop into here. We're just going to go for... Honestly, this is a pretty quick like way. Gold, Relic, Attributes, Wep or more gold. Yeah, I think that's the way. Just that far right side, I think that's the play. So another thing real quick, guys. I bought this thing. So, gain one dexterity each time you complete a room without taking damage. I was really trying, just actually failed <laughs> by uh, taking a hit by a trap. But we did open up this way, so let's see kind of where this goes. Okay, so this person dropped a relic. Three perception. Yep, I'll take that. And a random chest. Drops another relic. 10% uh, off gold offering costs. Okay, I'll take it. Why not? Got a jaguar claw here. 15% to damage or 15% damage to fire attacks. Yeah, why not? We don't have any relics right now, so that's worth it. All right, and we have a relic here. Ooh, gold offerings remove five corruption or just 30% crit damage. If we keep the claw we have right now, I would say that's worth it. Mm, but just getting rid of that corruption might be worth it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. So we go attributes, gold, weapon. Okay. So we're gonna go with the uh, we're gonna go with the ancient sensor because we have a lot of chances to get rid of get rid of some corruption. Got another relic here, plus 200% greed kill time limit. I'll take it. We have the obsidian fragments here, plus 10, or 10, plus 15% damage against weakened enemies. I can't read. And then we got the attribute thing right here. Let's see, we got damage, we got treasure find, we got damage and treasure find. Uh, we're gonna go with both. Because, yeah, that treasure find's gonna be pretty big. Ooh, torture ring. Heal 3% of max health when killing an enemy. Or when an enemy is killed by the environment. We will definitely take that for... Fire attacks. Why not? Right? Yeah. Why not? Ooh, over here we have a weapon. 25% chance to automatically trigger a parry. Uh, yup. Definitely taking that because I suck at pairing. All right, weapon. Let's see what we got here. We got crossbow. Slowly fires explosive shots, dealing damage in the area around impact. All good. Um, fire attacks for perfect shots and offhand combos. Yeah, but we don't have a throwing weapon for a starter. Removes one corruption for each enemy killed. That's pretty good though. That. Ooh, sky hammer, lightning attacks, plus one percent uh, base damage per point of constitution, removes one corruption for each enemy. I'm gonna go with this, man. That's a little hard to pass up. I don't like using two handed too much, but they have their perks. And this one has perks. Visions of Madness. The wounds inflicted by the denizens of the temple are not only physical, but often psychological and some even spiritual. Taking damage causes hallucinations. During hallucinations, dodging has no stamina cost. This is not that bad because I did an event where I was constantly hallucinating, so... Yeah, I've dealt with, with, with uh, worse. God, why? All right, so we have the first challenger, or champion, whatever you want to call him. He's going to be dead either way. Yes, the blood hunter. Yeah, he 
he's, he's just gonna die. It's all good. <sighs> That's a hallucination. Block that, though. Bop. And come here. Yup. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yep. And you're you're still missing, buddy. I think you are gonna die soon. Oh, I didn't. Ah. Oh, I thought I could maybe kill him fast enough. So sad. I mean, it's not like it's gonna give me an extra curse or anything. But really did not want to take that 50 corruption there all right what do we got uh six percent base damage per 1000 gold carried up to 10 times this is perfect to swap out for mainly i think this thing right because this literally just gives me an extra four perception compared to this one so yeah we'll do that and then this other one 15 percent damage to bonus or poison attacks don't have any poison, uh, and I don't necessarily plan to, but that constitution could help my hammer hit harder. Do you want to do that? Hmm. Honestly? I think it's worth getting rid of the obsidian fragments. We do so much damage already, and just having a bonus 2%, I think, damage on our sky hammer, gonna be worth it. So we have 2,000 gold. We can go... So that's on a timeline, I think, right? What is challenge? We do like challenges. I say we go gold attributes gold challenge random into weapon finally i want to get another weapon mainly like a, another secondary weapon but i don't think that's possible right now Ooh, okay someone dropped a sword uh plus 20 percent base damage if secondary is a pistol or er, no i'm gonna get i'm gonna get some help there thank you and a relic plus two constitution this is definitely better. Continue with constitution, but we also get the weakened enemies thing. Kinda nice. Let's go on to attributes. Hopefully we get some more constitution. Uh, we have a weapon and we also have an enemy coming straight for us. But lightning attacks, attacks from behind deal 30% more damage. Hmm. I'm actually going to offer this to the gods because we already have a slow hitting, hard hitting thing. But what if we, eh. It'd be nice to have double lightning attacks, so that if we found a relic that increased lightning damage, this would help. But I just like the maneuverability too much of the claw. Fudge, I swear, oh, I swapped them, didn't I? Well, uh, let's see what this is. Attacks from behind deal 30% more damage, I'm just gonna get rid of corruption there. And you know what? Screw it. Lightning. Just, let's just have the lightning. Why not? And I think we can now open this up, right? Yup. Three thousand gold, man. Jeez. All right. We're gonna go with the uh, both the health and damage because why not? Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so we got a crossbow. Ooh. Oh no, I have a. I forgot. I got the mace. Um, I mean, we don't have range, so yeah, maybe. Yeah, why not? I haven't tried the crossbow yet. And then we got the spear. I am just gonna sort of help there. All right, let's see what the the crossbow does. Bop. Bop. Okay, that's kind of neat. I like the little AOE damage. Kind of nice with it. We got a chest right here. Gold chest with uh, another crossbow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because 
I like that corruption. I like getting rid of the corruption, and I don't think I'm going to be getting a sword anytime soon. I am going to be going with the challenge play, and yeah. Yeah, we'll go challenge, random, weapon, then boss. I like that. And we're getting another first corruption. Curse. Deadly obsession. You are most deadly when near your final breath. Keep your enemies in sight. They will feed your resolve. Maximum stamina is reduced by one. Killing an enemy with any weapons restores two stamina points instead of one. I don't know if that's detrimental or not. Because on one hand, that means we have like one less swing with our hammer. But on the other hand... That means that I am going to actually be able to get stamina while killing them. Okay, so here we go with the challenge. I don't know how hard this is going to be. Whoop. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it, it's detrimental, chief. I don't like missing my stamina oh my god dude and I keep on getting hit by traps wow is this 1400 gold 1450 I think that's what I was saying I think it is that's quite a bit of gold and again um another thing <laughs> I've realized is that I have this perk grace of the tempest uh, gain one dexterity each time you complete a room without taking damage, right? Yeah, I already explained that. Um, since I have started this run, I have taken at least, like, one hit every single time. So I have yet to actually get a dexterity bonus. So, I don't know if it's worth it anymore to me for that. Like, if I'm taking stupid damage from a random from a random like trap or something like that it, it it hurts too much to not have a different blessing Ooh, okay we got a, another golden hourglass but this one gives us dexterity so i'm gonna take that that's mine now thank you that brings us up to 24 percent damage increase not bad you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna act up and spend 2,000 gold to increase my damage by what is that? 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 5 points. I think that's worth it because these other two, they're kind of iffy. I really like this weapon. I've been using it quite a bit. So, and, and again, we have a uh, we have a weapon coming up. So, I don't want to upgrade something that I know I might just end up wasting or getting rid of. Gosh, this would actually be pretty good if I had a spear, but seeing as I don't use spears at all, I'm just going to have to give it up for gold. So we have a problem coming up. Well, first we have a weapon. Let's see what that is. And of course it's a spear. Ah! Whatever, it's fine. Uh, a buckler. After a parry, your main weapon deals uh, critical damage for two hit seconds. Uh, 20% 20 20 chance to inflict fire damage. And 30% of the. Uh, let's actually go with. Let's, 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 let's. What does this do? Plus 100% damage against weakened enemies. Yeah, let's go with this. Why not? We'll do it. So here's the problem. We are now at the second champion room, but we have we've skipped like two different healing times. So now we're only at 572. We're gonna have to play this real safe, which means I don't think I'm gonna be using the sky hammer too much. Because it's just it's just a little risky. It does a lot of damage. But the the stamina drain is a little too strong for me. Oh my god, dude. I got body blocked by the stupid 
Curse twins! I, I was trying to roll out of that stupid freaking thing, but it, it just wouldn't let me roll out of it. It wouldn't let me roll out of the explosion. Um, what to do? I might just restart and just kind of cut back to when I beat these people because, yeah, I kind of refuse. I need to, I, I don't need to, I want to beat this. I, I need to beat it for myself. Hey, they beat kids. What is this? Poison attacks, kind of neat. What is this? Useless. We're grabbing this. And, uh, dude, we actually might just get rid of this thing. It's, it's a bait. It's way too much of a bait. Uh, restore stamina. Oh, that's fully restored stamina. Uh, yeah, 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 we'll do that. Back in we go. Okay, guys, real quick, just to catch you up, I just beat the, the Jaguar guy, and it's not looking good. Obviously, we are at 280 health of 1,000. Um, but, as you can see here, we could get healing really quickly, really easily. But there's a vault over here, and I don't know what the vault is. So, we're gonna try... We have healing opportunities... Like, if I, once well, once I get over to the next area, I will show you the sun scouters. Yes, traps have been strong enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where is it? So, this restores 1% of max health for each enemy killed, but then I have two of these things, so... I now get like 6 health more each time, so it's almost double the healing. Uh, so... <laughs> That's all I'm really hoping for, and I definitely want to see what that that temple is or that vault. Okay, we finally get to see what this vault is. Um, I might die to this, but we'll see. Ah, uh, again, there's a bunch of enemies, so I'm kind of scared. Oh my god! I almost died there. Oh no. Wait. Wait, what happened? Did I not kill the the enemies fast enough to get the vault? I'm so lost. Are you saying I A didn't get healing so I could get this vault and B I got I think an extra curse because of this because I got just got hit with some corruption great I can definitely tell how this is gonna end we actually died to traps we actually just died our nemesis was the temple I I, I don't know. I I can't believe that just happened. Again, I thought I knew the I knew the vault was a bait. I knew it was. But I had to know. I had to know what it was for the content. Shut up. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to call it there. I know I didn't beat it, but I mean, I tried two runs and I think I'm just trash. That's that's all I can say. Nevertheless, guys, if you want to see more Curse of the Dead Gods, leave a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. But this is Tormas, signing out. Peace!